Okay, let's just set the house in order. I said, come on, let's give the Lord a hand praise this morning. Hallelujah. Have the Lord been good to you? Amen. The scripture said, I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Amen. So we got a reason that we got a right this morning to give God a praise. Because he woke us up this morning. We have breath in our bodies. Amen. So we have a right to give God a praise this morning. So I don't know about you, amen, but I had church before I got to church. Amen. So it's going to be easy for me, amen. So I'm going to tell you just, hey, if I outrun you, then catch a hold with it, man. But we want to give God a praise this morning, amen, because, amen, this is the last first Sunday of the year. Yes. Yes. Amen. And, and some of us have lost loved ones, but God has kept some of us in the land of the living. And for that, we have a reason and we have a right to give God a praise this morning, amen. So I'm going to ask you this morning, amen, before we call on Mother Hagen to come and do prayer of consecration, I'm going to ask you to search your heart this morning. Yes. Amen. I'm going to ask you to just look on the inside of your own heart this morning, amen. Yes. And I want you to rend up a praise offering to God like never before. Amen. amen. And you may not feel like giving God a praise for yourself. Yes. Then give God a praise for your neighbor. Yes. Give God a praise for a family member. Yes. Give God a praise for the one that is less fortunate than you are, amen. But I, I just believe, amen, when we think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for, somebody should shout hallelujah. Somebody should shout hallelujah this morning. Come on and give us a praise this morning, amen. Mother Hagen is coming with our prayer of consecration. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I don't know about you all, but I'm so thankful. Amen. 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 Thank you. Oh, yes, God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, the Lord have done what he Yes, yes, yes. Grateful to the Lord. Yes. Don't take it for granted. Yes, Lord. Don't take life for granted. No, no. People don't need to miss work. Thank you for allowing us to somehow say once again. Yes, God. In the house of prayer. Yes, yes. You said your house should be called a house of prayer for all oh people. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your thank mercy. You, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank, thank, thank you, Lord, for yes. the thing you allow yes. us to do, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Yes. God, we're here this morning on your strength. Yes, Lord. Not on the strength of our own. Yes. We don't have no strength, Lord, without you. Yes, Lord. Where will we be without you this morning? Yes, yes. You are very life. Yes, yes. You have every breath that we breathe. Yes, yes. I'm grateful to you, Lord, yes. for yes. salvation yes. this morning. Yes. Thank you, Lord, because one day I was a wretch I'm done. Yes, Lord. In the world with no God on my side. Oh, my God. But you came, Lord, and reached out and saved me, Thank Lord. you, God. Give me a mind to serve you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, God, I have a mind to live right this morning, Lord. I got a mind to do right this morning, God. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, bless this house this day. Bless your people's Lord. Yes, God. Right oh, now, God, God, help us to call on the name of the Lord. Yes, help yes, us to yes. stare on our faces before you, oh God. Yes, Cry God. out to you, Lord. Yes, God, we need you, Lord. Yes, God. Oh, we need you, God. Yes, we do, Lord. Oh, we can't do it on our own, oh God. Yes, yes. You have everything to us. Yes, oh, God, we thank you for sending Jesus. Oh, without Jesus, where would we be this morning? Yes, Lord, yes. We wouldn't have no salvation. Yes, yes. But God, everything that we needed in Jesus yes, this morning. Yes, oh, yes. God, you brought healing to us, oh God. Yes, yes. In, the in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, we thank you for the finished work you did on yes. the cross. Yes, oh, we yes. thank you for every drop of blood that thank hit the you, ground God. on the cross. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We thank you for all the agony yes. you went through, oh God. Jesus, help us not to take it for granted this morning, Lord. Oh, God, help us to walk circumspectly before you, God. Help us to love one another, oh God. Help us to respect one another, oh God. Oh, God, help us to lift each other.
other up, oh God. Help us elevate one another, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for our passing our first yes, lady this yes, morning. Lord, yes, we thank yes, you, Lord, for people of God. Yes. And it's always, God, that we have great leaders and people that walk in the field of yes. you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord. Thank you. We ask that you bless this church today, Lord. Thank bless you. each and every one today. Yes. Lord, whatever they need, Lord, let them get what they need today. Don't let them go home the same, God. Yes. And Father, those that don't know you, don't let them be comfortable on their seat, God. Yes, Lord. Let them know, God, that a great price been paid for their salvation this yes. morning. Yes. Hallelujah. We yes. say yes. salvation is free. Yes, God, it's free. Yes. But you gave your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. That we yes. might be free. Yes. Yes. God bless your people this day. Yes. In the God. blessed name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise this morning. Hallelujah. Some of us got a reason to give God a praise. Oh, yes. Some of us got a reason. And I think sometimes we wait until the praise and worship team kick in. We wait until the music starts, but what about when the music stops? Yes. What about when when the when the, the when the keyboard don't work and there's no drums? Do you still have a praise right, on the inside? Right, right. So God's looking for authentic praise this morning. Amen. From somebody that needs to reach him this morning. Amen. And sometimes we gotta put everything that we're going through aside. Yes. The doctor reports. The doctor reports, the yes. doctor reports, yes. other people reports. Yes. We got to put those aside and think about the goodness of Jesus and all that he has done for us. Yes. And so as, as the devotion team comes this morning, you have to get it for yourself. yourself. You got to praise God for yourself. You got to reach God for yourself. So this morning, it's about a self-evaluation. Yes, yes. Amen. As the devotion team is coming this morning, amen. So think about evaluating yourself and giving God the praise now. Amen. Can we say amen? Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. The song says, we have come into this house, gathered in his name to worship him. Yes. Forget about yourself. Yes. Concentrate on him and yes. worship him. Yes. And the last verse says, lift up holy hands. Yes. Magnify his name and worship Christ the Lord. Oh, worship him, Christ the Lord. We have come into this house, gathered in his name.
scripture is going to be coming from the book of Matthew. Can everyone please stand? We're coming from the fifth chapter. Come on now. We're going to begin from verse 13. Does everyone have it? And it reads, you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt shall lose its taste, how can it be made salty? It is no longer good for anything but to be drawn out and trampled on by men. You are the light of the world. A city situated on a hill cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and puts it under a basket, but rather on a light stand, and it gives light for all who are in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before men, so that they see your good works and give glory to your Father which art in heaven. God's word for God's people. Amen. 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 Bow your head for prayer. Gracious Father God, we come into your throne of grace once again. Yes, God. God, we first want to say thank you for your goodness. Thank, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Your tender thank mercy, you. Father. Yes, God. Yes, God. God, if we had ten thousand tongues, we right. still wouldn't be able to thank you enough thank for all you've Lord. done for us, Father God. Amen. God, we ask that you come into this building this morning and completely take over today, God. Yes, yes, yes. Let no flesh glory in your presence. Yes, yes, yes. Heavenly Father, we ask that all flesh be removed, Father God. Right now, God. God, allow us to become wood. And Father God, you are the eternal fire. Yes. Father God, touch us like never before yes. today, God. Oh, yes, God. God, time is winding down. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. <coughs> and we don't want to sit down on you, Father God. Yes, God, while we still have time, we want to raise our hand and say thank you. Thank, thank, you, God. God. thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you. Yes, thank you. God, we don't deserve your goodness, Father God. Yes, Lord. We don't deserve it, God, but your word, Father God. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Your word will never, ever, ever lie, God. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Never lie, God. God, we say thank you on today. Thank you, thank you. For how you kept us as we slept last yes, night. Yes, God. Yes, yes, Waking up this morning with yes. running water, a roof over our head, yes, food to eat, yes, Father God. Yes, the activity of our men. Yes, God, we got to say thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, God. Because you didn't have to do it, Father. Yes, thank you. God, there are those that are yes. laying on the concrete this morning. Yes, Lord. There are those that woke up to rubble around them, Father God. Yes, Lord. The deaf angel has met some, Father. Yes. But yet you've kept us in the land of the living. Yes, so for that, we say thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. God, we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God. We've come bowed again to call on your name. God, and as we praise your name on today, Father God. Please, Father God, forgive us of our sins. Forgive us of our many sins, Father God. God, we ask for a release on today. We ask for a release, Father God. And Heavenly Father, as the word is brought forth, God, as you come and give your word through the man of God, Heavenly Father, we pray that we have a ear to listen and a mind to comprehend. Yes, yes. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Clap your hands for the Lord this morning. Amen. Come on, clap your hands for the Lord this morning. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 I guess some of you all are waiting for this part of the service. <laughs> Amen. For you to just get a little bit loose. Amen. amen. But as we prepare our hearts, amen, this morning, amen, for the praise and worship team to All come right. this morning. Amen. And remember some songs of praise come on high, amen. I'm going to ask you, amen, if you would just stand on your feet as we welcome, amen, Mount Zion. Soul voices this morning, amen, as they come to render, amen, praise and worship this morning. Come on, put your hands together for this morning. Hallelujah.
victory. He's able. My praise is changing, baby. My praise is changing to My praise is changing to God. My praise is changing to
know, I, 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 I feel like we already crossed over to January <laughs> 2019. So we're here to most churches. Yeah. We already crossed over. Yeah. We didn't already crossed over. Yeah. Yeah. We can do more. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. Yes. God is doing great things in our midst. Yeah. God is doing great things in this ministry. Yeah. God is doing yes. great things with the people that serve right up under us. Yeah. Come on, give God a hand. Praise Amen. 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 As, as, as the man the Jerry is catching her breath. Amen. She's going to come with, amen, our announcement. But before she comes, amen, we want to, as the first family appreciation committee, we want to meet with all other members after church. Amen. So if you're in a hurry, put the brakes on. Amen. Because we want to meet with all the members after church. Can somebody say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Can somebody say yes, Lord? Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 Evangelist Sam, come at this time. Amen. Amen. And amen. Don't worry about it. Uh, Elder, you didn't get the memo. <laughs> Good morning, Mount Zion. Good morning. Uh, these are our announcements. Bible study is every Wednesday at 7 p.m. New members and Sunday school is every Sunday at 945. Second Sundays, women of Zion are asked to serve. Men of Abraham are asked to serve on third Sundays. And the fourth Sunday is Z Generation. We have noonday prayer every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Prayer and, um, prayer and intercessors council will be available for prayer at Mount Zion every third Monday from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Also, uh, it says, Happy Holidays. You're invited to a free food giveaway for families in need. December 15th, 2018 from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. That is at various elementary schools, Weingard, Jones High School, Apopka Elementary, Rock Lake, Evans High School, Ivy Lane Elementary, Palmetto Elementary, and Fourth Sight Woods Elementary. Now, as we get ready to go into 2019, where we're doing more with less, yeah. we're going to bring the new year in at Mount Zion 2986 Silver Star Road. The doors will open at 9.30 p.m. for silent prayer. The service will start immediately at 10 p.m. Yeah. Be there or be square. Yeah. Do we have any visitors today? If so, please stand. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. We just want to say thank you for worshiping with us today. Our prayer is that you will discover the limitless love that the Father has for you. Mount Zion Tabernacle Christian Church is a place of worship where we as believers will assemble through our faith in God, focus in Jesus Christ, and fellowship through the Holy Spirit. We want to say welcome from our pastor and First Lady Murray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to uh, ask you all to uh, welcome me, uh, welcome someone. Uh, I'm going to be uh, a loving pastor because I know she is a uh, loving person and her and her husband are really, really, really close. So what I'm going to do is um, ask if uh, evangelist Diana Mumford will come to the pulpit for the first Sunday. Minister okay. okay. uh, okay. Tyler. Yeah. 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 It's been co-received by the first lady. Amen. Yeah. Put your hands up for evangelist, yeah. Dr. Yeah. Diana Mumford. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So what, what I'm going to do is, um, first Sundays, I will just, for now, I will ask that you will sit from the pulpit, and the other Sundays, I will with you, because I know you and your husband like to be close. You <laughs> <laughs> kind of need that, that bump <laughs> that all husbands need when... We tend to get distracted. <laughs> well, now y'all can just eye each other across the room. Right. <laughs> it rain growth, don't it? Amen. <laughs> Amen. We are excited. I want you to just put your hands together for all of those who were elevated this last month. Amen. Amen. You can have some training t shirt. I'm still. Amen. Amen. Crying since November. Amen. <laughs> Deaness and training, Valerie Williams. Evangelist, Dr. Diana Mumford. 
Now we'll be ready to talk to you. Social pastor, where's the way to So, all I can say is, be ye ready. For the time draws near that the Lord will need more of you. Amen? Amen. We thank God for all that's being said and done. Sorrow in the house from out of town. Sisters are keeping around. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Uh, anybody talk to Mother Bird lately? Okay, so all is well. Amen. I ask for your continued prayers for um, Mother Mary, my mother. Um, her birthday was Thursday, man. She turned 77. Yeah. Uh, uh, she is challenged with a little pneumonia, amen. But um, they say things uh, well. So uh, we thank God for that. And that God is doing a great thing with her, amen. amen. So I ask for your prayers. Uh, she's currently on IVs because she's not eating at an acceptable level at this point. But I'm going to tell you how God works things. Amen? Amen. Uh, everything has a reason. Uh, and I always tell people that there are things God will do that you just will not understand. Yes, yes. Amen? Amen? Everything does not require an answer acceptable to you yes. from God. Amen? Amen? So you just have to trust and believe what you do know. Yes. Amen. Amen? That's why I would say I don't get in debates with people about God. What I do know, I believe. Amen? Amen? And as he gives me those mysteries along the way, I pull them in and I put them in my box and I keep moving. But I don't, I don't go into debating about who God should be. Amen? Amen? For his ways are not our ways and our thoughts are not his thoughts. Amen? Amen. So I try to stay as tuned as I can to his spirit that he guides me on what to say and what to do. And I'm even humble enough that if I don't do it right, I'm going to probably say I'm sorry. Amen? Because I'm not going to wind up down there at the next side talking to myself. To my eye, I'm going to tell you. No, I'm going to tell you. Amen? Because a smile goes a long way to people. Amen? So turn to your neighbor and say, don't lose your smile. Turn to the other one too. Tell them, don't lose your smile. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Person, you have anything this morning? Yeah. 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 Um, this Saturday, I'm sorry, good morning, Mount Zion. Good morning. So this Saturday is our Woman of Zion um, meeting. However, because it's December, every December we have our Woman of Zion gift exchange and Christmas celebration. Mm -hmm. So this Saturday at 6 p.m., if you would like to participate, bring a red gift. Our limit is $20 or we want to, how do you, it's $20. Yes. Nothing under $20, nothing over $20, just $20. So you bring it wrapped and we put it on the table and we, we put numbers on it and then we pull a number and that number is your gift. Yeah. And last year we did the, what was it, ugly Christmas sweater? <laughs> Yes, Crystal One. <laughs> Crystal One, hands down. We went out and bought ugly Christmas sweaters. She went out and made an ugly Christmas sweater. <laughs> but we had a lot of games, and it was really fun. We had food, everyone. And also, if you can, bring a dish. You can go by KFC and pick up a, you know, the five-piece, the Popeyes. You know, and just bring something in because we eat as well. So, <laughs> okay, so TK got Popeyes. So nobody go by Popeyes. TK. No, don't go by KFC. Oh, don't go by K. Oh, that was the. Oh. I'm sorry. So don't go by KFC. Go by. Sorry, Facebook. <laughs> So just bring a dish, bring a dish. You know when they say less is better, so I'm going to give Reverend the microphone. Hey, Amen. We're just going to bring a plate. Amen. TK, I want you to know that I enjoy Papa. Hot <laughs> Elvis, since I'm in the altar, every now and then, I need that original recipe. Every now and then. <laughs> 
but I primarily eat Popeye. Amen. <laughs> you get to that thing, present, it's all right. You bring that KFC, we're going to do the curl. Amen. Amen. Ain't God good? Amen. Amen. Are there any ministry notes that I'm not aware of? I got need to. Amen. So, 9.30, New Year's Eve, the doors will be open for prayer. Amen? Amen. And that will just be silent prayer uh, as we go along from 9.30 to 10. Then 10, we will go into uh, our service. Amen. Amen. So, I'm proud to announce this year, and usually um, I, I throw stuff on people last second because uh, that's what I do. Amen? Amen. The year always what? Amen. Amen. So, each one of these preachers behind me will be prepared with a... 15 minute sermon, amen. Amen. Sermon, amen. 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 For New Year's Eve, amen. 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 Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 15 minute sermon there. New Year's Eve. Yeah, write that down. <laughs> yeah, I know, I don't want to hear nothing. I don't want to hear you, man. I can't. I can't. What are you saying? Amen. So each one of our preachers will have a 15 minute. Uh, okay, I gotta call names. Now I don't know if I know what they're preaching about. <laughs> Evangelist Sims, Evangelist uh -huh. Mumford, uh -huh. Elder Tompkins, Social Pastor, Pastor Reginald Paul. Amen? Amen. 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 They can do it. I believe in you. Amen? Amen. 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 15 minutes. Amen. 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 God is good, is he not? Yes. Amen. Let us prepare our hearts and minds for giving. Can I, can I drop this in your spirit? Um, Y'all know, I'm not, I'm not big about this uh, projecting of finances. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting better. But I'm just not really good. I admit one of my faults. I'm not good at asking people to do something that God told them to do. Amen? On a regular basis. But do understand that there are things in ministry that have to be taken care of. Amen? Amen. And there are a lot of behind-the-scenes things that are seen and done that you may not see being done. Please, please, do your best. Amen? Amen. Because, you know, really tithing off is not about giving. What is it about, Mount Zion? Value. value. And if you value the place of God that you're in, you value God, it should drive you to do a little bit better than what you did last year, year before, week before, month before. Amen? Amen. Get the best of what you have every chance that you can. And it's okay to stretch yourself now and again. Amen? Amen. You know how you stretch yourself at Walmart? You make about $20 up and you bought $50 worth? Yes, sir. I'm going to try it over here. You got four things in the bag. You be like, $48. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then you start looking at the screen trying to get it. Yo, 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 yo. How does $48? I got four items. And y'all better recognize. Amen. Amen. I, I got to tell this right quick. Uh, Sister Kyra, she's not here, right? Where's she at? So, Sister Kyra, we've been talking with her. She's got a new apartment. Put your hands together for her. And she said, Pastor, being grown is overrated. <laughs> she said, You got to pay for everything. That stuff costs money. She been used to living with her mom there and granddaddy there, and she said she thought it was going to be a breeze. But guess what, guys? Life can be challenging. Amen? But when we put everything in the Lord's hands, does he not take care of us? Amen. Put your hands together as we come. Ushers will come now. Those who can and will, let the Lord use you. Amen? And those who have an electronic payment, please step to the back. Amen. And we will take care of you back there. Amen? Amen. I'm financing it.
thank you again, God, for all the funds that was given, Father God. We ask that it be given, Father God, from the bottom of the hearts of your people, and ask that it be a betterment to your kingdom. We ask that you bless those that gave and those that had the desire to give, Father God. 107 fold, Father God. We thank you so much for your goodness. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. cheerful giver. Amen. Amen. At this time, we're going to prepare our hearts, amen, for another selection. Amen. Come on, put your hands together and give God a hand for you.
Amen. Because the, the Lord has sent a messenger this morning, amen, to deliver the message unto his people. Yes, amen. amen. And I believe that he's a strong man. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. He's not only my friend, he's my brother. Yes. He's not only my brother, but he also is my pastor. Come on, yes, come on, put your hands together this morning. Yes. I want you to point your hand this way. And I want you to repeat after me, Lord, Lord give him strength. Give him strength. Lord, Lord, give him strength. Give him strength. Pastor, Pastor, preach the word. Preach the word. Pastor, Pastor, preach the word. Preach the word. Pastor Murray at this time, put your hands together and give God a hand. Amen. Come here from the Lord today. I say, God, come out to Jesus, okay. I know coming here for the Lord Jesus Christ, who is the Savior and Lord of all of us. I want you to do me a favor. I want to set the atmosphere as best I can. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to quit trying to listen to me and listen for the Lord. Yes, yes, yes. Get your eyes off me and get your eyes on Jesus. Amen. To open your heart. If I know somebody's coming today with some trial or tribulation in their life, somebody they help is not what they'd like it to be. Somebody's having some relationship issues and it's not what they would like it to be. Somebody's got some job things going on and it's not what they'd like it to be. Some of us are. Money is funny and our change is strange. Yes, Lord. It's not what we would like it to be. Yes, yes. However, I want to thank God for being where I want to be this way, where I need to be this way. Yes, yes. I don't know about you, but that's enough to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So for the next few moments, thank you, push away all of those things in your life. Thank you, God. And find a way to say thank you, Jesus. For being the author and the finisher of my friend.
the corner. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 of this world. And so God, today we come to give you the honor, give you the glory, the thanks, and the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Coming from the book of St. Luke, the 23rd chapter, and the 38th verse. And so it reads, and a subscription also was written over him in the letters of Greek and Latin and Hebrew. This is the king of the Jews. And one of the male factors which were hanged railed on him saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other answering rebuked him saying, Dost thou not fear God? Seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we indeed justly for we receive the due reward of our deeds. Yes. But this man, uh-huh. but this man, uh-huh. but this man uh-huh. have done nothing uh-huh. amiss. Yes. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, Lord. remember uh-huh. me. Uh-huh. Uh, I know we want to talk about mama and auntie and sister and brother, but this man got selfish for a second. He said, Lord, Remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. You may be seated. Give it honor to our God. To his son that died on Calvary's cross. Uh To our comforter yet still. The Holy Spirit. To our guests today. We thank you for coming. We pray thus far you have heard and seen. The spirit of the Lord. To the best church my side of heaven. I pray that God is trusting in you. My best half. And all of her glory. I give honor this great day and I ask for your continued prayers also for my mother. As she is recovering uh, with a case of pneumonia. Uh, but we give honor because she was able to see her 77th birthday on Thursday. Uh, though she has had a somewhat, some would say, decline in her her eating and in her speech. Uh, she just smiles more now. But she was always a smiler. Amen. And I thank God that she was able to come and see and experience with her son yes, yes. with all her whoopings was for. Yes. <laughs> Somebody don't get that. Amen. For it's 
nothing better for any of us who are parenting or been a parent relationship with someone to see someone that has we have been able to put in part in them, see that the change in their life has taken effect. Yeah. 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 It is so good to see them prospering and progressing in God yeah. more than even they would do in the natural. Yeah. Yeah. For what is it for a man to gain the whole world? And they're not God? How could I retain all of these things and know not God? How can I have all these accolades and awards and know not God? How can I have all my money lined up and my health be well and everybody pat me on the back and not know God? Mm, that's a dangerous place to be, my brother and my sister. So whatever you have gained in your life, Make sure you give God the glory. Amen. And whatever you lost in your life, make sure to give God Amen. the glory. Amen. So our great brother Luke, uh, he, he, he wanted to encourage us. He was the co-laborer with the Apostle Paul. And I was blessed the other night to watch uh, the movie that they had done of Paul. And I always tell people that even though these movies do their best to have some similarities to the Bible, it will never line up totally with the Bible. Uh, there will be things that you would say, well, I thought it was another way. Things. He's, he's helped the blind to see. He's helped the lame to walk. He's yeah. even had some be risen from the dead. But now his true calling yeah. is on Front Street. Yeah. And I want to stop by and tell you that even all the nice things that you do, it looks really good on paper. Still, you must ask yourself, are you willing to die for the gospel? Oh, I know that's a little touchy there. That's some tough stuff to look at. That's, that's a lot to ask, Pastor. I mean, I'm in the church and all, but don't get all deep on me all of a sudden. But you got to think about it. Hey, for God I live. Oh, for God I... All right. Okay. All right. We're going to try that. We're going to try to look here. Maybe down there in the right? For God I live. Oh, for God I... That means I'm willing to get rid of things that are killing me spiritually. And it's manifesting naturally. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There are some people, some places, and some things uh -huh. that are literally a cancer in my body, yeah. eating away at my spirit, yeah. tearing away at my digestive system, yes, that I cannot fully enjoy yeah. the bread of life and the living water. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Luke wants to encourage us. By bringing us to a point of seeing mm -hmm. the Lord on the cross. Yes. And can you picture being up? And I can see the Lord looking at all the people that he's helped along the way. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now they're all standing there as if they had never met him. Yes. And sometimes in our lives, when God begins to boost us up in him, folk that we've helped along the way look at us differently. Yes. I'm not trying to talk about nobody. I'm talking about what I'm talking about. When God begins to, ex ex and I want to, and I brought this back to a couple weeks back. How am I wanting to be in tune with God and not want the anointing of God? Because the anointing of God will become annoying to people. It annoys them that you want to talk right. It annoys them that you want to live right. It annoys them that you want to believe in God and believe in God's people. It annoys them that you won't tuck your tail and run every time something don't go right that you don't like. It annoys them that you're willing to hold on to who God is and all that God stands for. It annoys them that you're willing to believe in a God that you can't see, but you know he dwells within you. It annoys them yes, yes. that you're willing to take your last and bless somebody else. It annoys them yes, yes. that when you really want to say something that you know ain't righteous, even though it may sound right, <laughs> you bite your tongue yes. and say, Lord, you deal with that. Yes. It annoys them yes. that you won't come out of character. Yes. It annoys them. That you won't give them what they need. Yes. Yes. To say you ain't holy. Mm -hmm. It annoys them. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm helping somebody this morning. Yes. Yes. Because for some of us along the way, the more we do God's work,
the less people want to deal with us. And the Bible says that we are peculiar people. The things that rile you up don't bother me. And the things that I'm excited about, you say, what's the big deal? Because God begins to do beautiful things in you that you will overlook all this time. I see why God reminds us about having the mind sometimes of children. You remember laying out in the meadows of the grass and looking up in the sky and saying the cloud, that's a bunny rabbit or that's a that's a turtle or that's a that's a tree. You can see all the beautiful things of God. The little things. Now I can't see that for for spectrum on the bills. My light bill. I can't see that because my car ain't running right. Huh? I'm striving to drive to this, this job that I'm in, in pain and turmoil in my mind about. Yeah. I'm looking for God to bless me. Yeah. Instead of saying, God, if you woke me up this morning, there's somebody on my job that needs to see a righteous person in you. Not that somebody they call, quote unquote, perfect, but my perfection is in my conviction. And as long as I stay convicted in God, I'm perfect in God. Somebody know what I'm talking about. Because he says he washes us whiter than snow. I can't wash myself. So Paul opens our eyes, and I'm only going to deal with the 43rd verse, and I'm going to be out of here. Can we do that? I want to encourage all of our leaders, and even those included, from the top to the bottom, from the preachers all the way down to those in ministry leading, those who just desire to learn more, those in mother's board, those in usher board, those in greeter board, whatever board you're in. If you want to learn a little more, every first Sunday, I'm dealing with Bible studies, catering more. Uh, it's dealing with things of the pulpit, so you can understand a little bit better. This morning, we dealt with the language of purpose, basically talking about the language of preaching, what it's about, what it entails, what you need to have, what what you need to embellish in that so when you go not just here but anywhere else you will look for certain things that the preacher will bring to the table uh -huh. and we talked about three things and it wasn't that my stuff is better than anybody else's but we talked about a preacher should have some form of a title because that title gives you relationship to what's being preached and then he said also not only should you have a title but the preacher should also be able to come from some form of the text the scripture should bring something that you can relate back with because without that I'm just talking because I need to learn more about the Bible I already know what my problem is I already know what my issues are I already know what's got me torn from the floor up. but what do it say it's in the Bible and last but not least but you must be coming from a territory. That means you need to be able to reach all people in all places from your word. Yeah. Look what God says here. He says, And Jesus said unto him in his 43rd verse, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. <laughs> so if I had a way to encourage you this morning, Look at your neighbor and say, Pastor, don't preach about it. This, this is the day. This is the day. <laughs> this is the day. Because in the particular point, you can see here that the door of Jesus Christ was dealing with two brothers who were on the cross with him. They were thieves. They had done some stuff they shouldn't have been doing, and they were set up to be put out, to be put in the grave. And then one brother was who... Here you are in the most critical time of your life. Here's the most detrimental part of your life, and you still talking trash. Yeah. 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 Somebody gonna get this a minute. Because the three things that you will always deal with in life: lust of the eyes, lust of the flesh, and what else? Pride of life. So here this man is on the cross next to the one who can save him of his sins, and all he has to do is give himself up, but yet and still he still wants to let the pride of life deal with him. What am I saying? There are a lot of us. There are a lot of us guys that are still too prideful to just say, Lord, deal with me. It's going to be tight, but it's going to be right this morning. We don't get a lot of amens and have to lose, but we're going to be right on this. There are a lot of us in our lives who, who, who trust and believe that everybody got a problem but us. There are a lot of us running around saying the world got an issue with us. The world is coming against us. 
It's always me. I'm always the person getting beat up. I'm always the person being ridiculed. I'm always, and I keep telling people, if you longer you keep saying it to yourself, the more it's going to happen to you, even when it ain't happening to you. But I stop by to tell you, I'm the kind of person that no matter what comes against me, I got a smile on my face. I ain't trying to take your place. God gave me a place with him. He said, he said in his mansion, in his house, there are many mansions. So I know I got my own suite, but I need yours for. So I'm not here trying to cut out what God trying to do with you. I'm trying to help you along the way. Oh, this going to be the hard one. He ain't talking about getting rich. And I looked at this word today. Now, the Greek word for that, believe it or not, is called semeron. S-E-M-E-R-O-N. Uh -huh. -E -E semeron. That's the Greek word for today. Uh -huh. When you go back and look at that, it's basically saying it's a sermon. Uh -huh. Every day of your life is a sermon. Uh -huh. That's my old good deacon say over here. I'd rather see one than hear one every day. So really, sermon is not what you say. It's what you do. Uh -huh. Huh? Amen. You ought to ask yourself, the people I have around me, are they good congregants to my sermon? The folk that, 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 that just love my presence, is it because of the sermon of my life. All right. yes. Yes. That's very important. Yes. Because if I'm not able to give a living example of who God is in the realm of the flesh, and they're not convicted enough when I don't show that, people are being destroyed. How important is it to have a spiritual image? How important is it? The Bible tells us we must submit ourselves to our earthly masters. Amen. You may have to work for people who don't love God. Who don't even like God. Who don't even want to hear about God. And you may have to work with them, for them, or under them. And still have to show an image yes. of God. Let me, let, me, let me give you a prime example. How is it that we have people in governmental positions uh -huh. mm -hmm. who struggle, who say they love God, but struggle with making decisions? When Daniel worked under four kings who none of them loved God for over 80 years and never changed who he was. So how do I go to my job where I say I love the Lord, got my little cubicle, with all my little quotes and sayings on my little cubicle, you know how we do in the cubicle, you know how we step on the cubicle, and my little music playing in the back of, take me to the king, I don't have much to do. But nobody wants to come by my cue. <laughs> because when I speak, <laughs> the king ain't around. <laughs> Does this make sense this morning? Yes. So Paul gets over our eyes. I mean Luke. I'm going to get us in this and we'll get out. So Luke goes in quick. He says, and Jesus said unto him. Now he's talking to the second brother. Now the brother that says, listen, you leave Jesus alone. He ain't done nothing. We here for a reason. Yes. And what that really does is, you have to ask yourself, do you ever blame yourself for anything? Yes. Yes. I'm just saying. Yes. Me and my beautiful, and bless her heart, because I don't know if I can find another woman that can do this as much as she do. Amen. We sit and critique each other about our life mm -hmm. daily. I don't know if people want to do that. Right? I too know. I too do. I ain't doing all that. 
But we have to because we have to deal with people. Yes. And there's no way you can deal with people consistently and righteously if you're not sitting there making sure that you're putting things in place, roughing, uh, uh, smoothing rough stones in your life. Because if you don't, you think on your own understanding and you believe everybody's messed up but you. Paul, in his letters, talked about the issues of his own life. He was, not, he was not pulling himself from it. He was not separating himself from it. He was letting God know, I have issues. I say the things I wish not to say. I do the things I wish not to do. Lord, deal with me. However, we battle with that. And it's much easier to hold a conversation about what no motherfucker ain't doing. And going into 2019, you have to start asking yourself, what can I do now that I haven't been doing in 2018 that's been a hindrance in 2017, that's been a hindrance in 2016, that's been a hindrance in 2015? Do I have to go all the way down back? I'm going back to 96? Whatever's been hindering up for the last 20, 30, 45 years, and here I am now in 2019 going into it, and I'm still saying it's them people, it's them places, it's them things. I'm a firm believer. That if you do not finish the assignment God has given you, you will repeat it. How many churches you got to run to? And find out you need to humble yourself and say, Lord, put me on a leadership that ain't going to never tell me nothing but the truth. Whether I like it or not, it's fine. They ain't going to let me walk in my own way. They're going to let me say whatever I want to say. They're going to let me do whatever I want to do. They're going to try to bring the best out of me because they want to see the best out of me so I can be best for God. Yes. Why you want a husband then you want to run everything? And I'm not a chauvinist at all. My down piece love her over here. Hell, baby. You going to pay for it? Yes. That reminds me to a sermon she did. Oh, come on. I'll talk to you about the church. Anyway. My wife got this separate Bible that y'all ladies get y'all read out of. I'm figuring out what pages on. This woman in Pile Bible she got. But I just want to encourage y'all. Ask yourselves. Look what Luke says. He said, and, Jews, and Jesus said unto him, first point, whenever this is the day, he said, this is the day he speaks to me. Y'all don't have a day God talk to you? Yes. Did he call you by your name? Yes. Because I'm telling you, when God begins to call you by your name, it's a different time than somebody calling your name out in the street. No, they call you out in the street. Hey, you know, you <laughs> you know that kind of calling out. You know people when they calling you, but Jesus said, "I'm calling you because there's a need for you yeah. to be with me, and I'm calling you because I'm going to put you in a situation that somebody's going to see me through you. So I want to make sure you know who I'm talking to you. So when I call Quinnell, Quinnell, you know he can't be who Q is. He got to be Quinnell that God. He can't be Q no more. He got to put Q on the back burner. He need Quinnell to step up and say, I am a son of God. I know who he is in my life. I know what he's doing for me and my family. I know what he brought me out of. And though I might not be where I want to be, I surely ain't where I used to be. That's the kind of person I ought to be when he calls me. And I refuse, I'm, and I want to put this out here. Don't take this person, take this person. Quit letting people hinder your progress in God by always reminding you of what you didn't do back then. I am so full of folks always want to bring them back around the mulberry bush. Maybe I didn't understand then, but thank God I understand now. Maybe I didn't see it right then, but thank God I'm saying it right now. Maybe I didn't do it right then, but thank God I'm, I'm doing it right now. Does anybody know what I'm talking about this morning? So he says not only that this is the day he speaks to me. He goes a little further in the text. He said, and Jesus said unto him, this is the day he speaks to you. Then he says, Jesus speaks. 
He says, Verily I say unto thee, now, now. Now only is the day he speaks to me. Now this is the day he speaks over me. Yes. All right. Because God will never talk to you without speaking over your life. Amen. Amen. Quit denouncing what God is saying to you. If God said pick it up, by God, you better run and pick it up. Amen. If God said put it down, you better it drop down. it like it's hot. <laughs> You better let it ride. You better let it go. You better say, God, if this is what you're saying, you better make that call. Look, sis, look, bro, look, place, look, thing. I don't know what's going on with it, but I'm just telling you what the Lord told me. He told me he got some things he need me to do, and he's got me in place, and I need to get before him. And so I'm just saying, excuse me, excuse my attitude. If it seems like I'm not interested in what you're saying, if it seems like I'm not interested in what you're doing, it's got nothing to do with you. God is doing something in me, and what he's doing in me, I need space and I need time. Ask yourself, where are you space and time at? Where is your space and time in God? Because if he's speaking over me, that means he's going to put something under me. Hmm? And I don't know about you, but that's good to know that God is going to make my enemy my footstool. That he said, even though you're going through some things on your job, I'm still going to elevate you. That the folk around you still got to come back to you because they need you. Somebody know what I'm talking about. That the matter might say all the stuff they want to say in the background, but they still got to come. You got to need it. Sure, what's going on? Uh, we was wondering if you can. Lord, you say yes? Uh, sure, no problem. I can handle that. Not a big deal. No problem. I can handle that. I'll try. I do that. No, no, no. Because God's doing something with me. Because the enemy wants me to sit there and pull, hold my hands up and say, I ain't doing nothing in here. I ain't doing nothing. I'm not praising. I'm I'm not worshiping. I'm not clapping. I'm not saying amen. I'm not saying hallelujah. I'm going to sit here and I'm going to critique this sermon because I feel like it's not being said the way I want to say it. It's not being done the way I want it, son. Hicks thing saying, do it for me the way I want him to do it for me. So I didn't get it done for me. So you want to sit there and not get it done for you, but I want it done for me. So I don't care if Hicks say it, his mama say it, his daughter say it, his son say it. I don't care if my son say it, my mama say it. I don't care who say it, because I'm going to say it. Lord, do it for me. This is the day that he speaks to me. This is the day that he speaks over me. Now he brings it here to the end. He says, today thou shalt be with me in paradise. And so I believe the Lord is bringing it home to be sitting there on the cross yes. and to still be concerned not about him but somebody else yes. and I want to encourage every living and believing Christian yes. that can hear the sound of his voice yes. that there's no way that you're not going to find yourself in a cross situation yes. but I want to encourage you by saying the best thing to do when you feel like you're being hung out the dry yeah, yeah. is not focus on yourself. Yeah. But instead, focus on somebody, someplace, or something else. Yeah. For it says here, this is the day. Uh -huh. The day that he speaks to me. Yeah. This is the day. Uh -huh. The day that he speaks over me. Yeah. This is the day. The day that he is with me. But I heard about this place called paradise. I heard that Jesus set it up just for us. Heard that this is the day. But he told me something beautiful here. He said, you don't have to wait till you're dead and gone. That every day can be paradise with me. Though things may be going on around you, you still can have paradise with me. That reminds me of an old show I used to watch called Alibaba and the 40 Thieves. The beautiful thing about it is that he was out there in the desert and all of a sudden he started dreaming that where he at was a beautiful place. They call it a mirage. Sometimes you gotta get in your spiritual mirage. 
Well, even though it's coming against you, everything all is well. Even though they're arguing at you, say it all is well. Even it's coming against you, you gotta say all is well. Even though your money funny, you gotta say all is well. Even though the doctor wanna operate, you gotta say all is well. Even though you're feeling not a way, you gotta say all is well. Is there anybody this morning? That'll stand on their feet and say, all is well. Touch your neighbor, grab them by the hand, say, all is well. I heard that all is well. He was born in a major, wrapped in swallowed clothing, sound like all is well. I heard he did some beautiful things, had the blind to see, sound like all is well. Had the lame to walk, sound like all is well. Had the dead to rise, sound like all is well. I heard he walked down the road, some 200 yards, carrying a cross, some 300 pounds. But I bet your life, he still whispered, all is well. I heard he put a nail in one hand. All was well. They put a nail in the other hand, but all was still well. They put one between the feet, but all was still well. But I heard, hey, I heard, I'm talking about Jesus, that great man of God. Dropped his head down in the lumps of his shoulders. I heard. Mary, Lord, I love the name Mary. All day Friday, she walking around. Uh, can't go to the seventh. Uh, can't get in there yet. Uh, they done wrapped his body. Uh, they done put the oils on him. Uh, can you say all is well? There he laid with the napkin on his face. Can you say it? All is well. All day Saturday, there he laid. Uh, Went down to hell and took the keys of death. Said, Death, where is your sting? All is well. I heard this is the day the Lord has made. All is well. Find somebody, shake them by the hand. Rock them and shake them up. Rock them and shake them up. Tell them all is well. I heard. I'm talking about Jesus laid in that tomb. One Sunday morning, he got up, he got up, he got up with some power. He got up with most power. He got up, he got up. saying to yourself, you know what, Lord, I'm hearing you today. That all I have to do is confess and believe. Not more. And that you died for my sins on Calvary's cross and I shall be 
saved. If that person is you, won't you come? Why do you still have time? Because time is winding up. And it won't matter what your college degree said on your plaque. It won't matter how many years you worked on your job. It won't matter how many children you raised. It will be about your confession and your belief that Jesus died for you. If that person is you, won't you come? Won't you come right now saying, Lord, I need more. Maybe you're saying, Lord, I know you for myself. But I don't have a place of accountability. I don't have a church that is going to love me, support me, and yet still hold me accountable for who I say I am and go. That person that you want you come while there's still time. I want everybody to raise their hands up in the air. Repeat after me. Father God, this day, today, I ask for more. More of you, less of me. More of your honor. More of your help. More of your praise. More of your worship. More of your sight. More of your soul. More of your seed. Father God, I come with only one thing. Everything that belongs to you. And so, Father, I come to give myself away. Amen. 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 Put your hands together like you love God today. Can you pray for communion? Uh -huh. something. Hold on one second, dear. Come on, mother. I'm going to pray for you now. Oh, it's on my heart. Come, come. I think the mother's born to come with me. First lady, if you come on.
communion. Amen. Is God not good today? sat down with them and he took the bread he said he prayed and he break it. I'm going to ask that the evangelist one foot will give the prayer of the bread and the cup. Lord God, we come before you humble, Lord God, asking that you would cover this bread and this cup as we take it, Lord God. Allow us to examine ourselves, Lord God. Anything that is unclean within us, Lord God, I ask that you would move it right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Bless these supplements, Lord God, and bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen. So we will stand and we will come from my left, from the rear.
Shall we stand? The bread, representation of the broken body on Calvary's cross. Take ye, eat all of it. The cup, a representation of the blood that was shed on Calvary's cross. Had it not been any shedding of blood, there would be no remission of our sins. Take ye, drink all of it. Put your hands together like you love God today. Come on, we do a little better than that. Amen. Amen. We want to we want to thank all of those who were able to come and stay and be with us today. We pray that thus far. God was beautiful in your life. I know we have some, some guests. We offer the opportunity if you'd like to say, pray you enjoy yourself. Thank you.
right now. Right. The patience in God, sometimes we need patience. Be patient. Uh, three months ago, I had another offer, but something said, don't take this offer because what I have for you is going to be more. Wow. So the opportunity that you're given to help me prepare for my doctor is so much that's going to come from this experience where if I have never, ever seen God before, I've seen him right now. Yeah, exactly. And I'm so thankful. And I'm thankful for you. I've been praying for me. You've been Amen. talking to me. Even I don't do the touches I should, but I know I'm in your heart. I have to say, I thank you so much. Amen. I thank everybody here who knows me and knows that they see me. So Amen. I'm a testimony of God and his favor and his grace, his patience, and trusting in him and growing that faith. So thank you for all Amen. Well, we're still here. Amen. <laughs> Feel free. If you can't reach me, you know Soros here. We have Soros. <laughs> and we have quite a few of our congregants are in college. Can you put your hands together for that? I, I got to give honor to them. Because I truly believe they may not have decided to go had they not been a part of this ministry. We have at least four or five members who are either current or past graduates. Mount Zion, I'm of uh, Columbia College. Amen? Amen. So it's more to come. If you're not sure what you want to do with your life, but you kind of see Dr. Mumford. Amen? Amen? She'll guide you along the way. And she may say, you know what? Maybe that's not the best thing. Maybe you look at something technical. But she's not going to lie to you. Amen? Amen. Well, whatever the case may be, guys, as you graduate and get ready for, who's our graduates for next year? Coming out 2019. Who is that? Krishida? Hmm? Rashida. Okay. Who else? Isaiah? Who else? I know it's got one of the Wigan girls over there. Ain't you didgraduate already? Oh, college. College. Okay, amen. High school, y'all got one more year? Amen. She got one. You hating on your sister. Amen. But we got to make sure we keep up with that, too, for our graduates. Uh, we are planning our uh, educational fair next year. You remember you were part of that one time. You were with Paramore. So if you're hanging around town, there's no way we're doing that. If all hearts and minds are clear, has God not moved today? Yeah. Amen. Anything before we close on? Shall we stand? I need uh, a quick five minutes with the praise team. Amen. Amen. Did the church say amen? Amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Church members, all the church members for a few moments, please don't leave, please don't leave. Govern yourself according. You only, you, if you're a young person and you need to stay, stay. Yes, Lord, all right. Yes, all of our church members, please, if you can gather right here in the middle for me, please, and thank you.
tears to my eyes because I, I just feel like a man serving a woman serving a God that serves as we serve we as members 